everybody, welcome back to another Sean's World video. Now it's extremely cold outside, so I've lit the fires in the house. Be going in the cottage a little bit later, but before I do that, I've ordered some stuff that I've got to go and pick up. Um, it's in the next village down, so let's head on down there, pick the parcels up, and I'll show you what I bought. Looks like someone started to unbox before me. And of course anything that comes in new, they're straight on it, inspecting it. Don't worry, I'm going to open them up in a minute. You can have a look. Now uh, this is probably not the best idea to open it up with all these little cats about, but... Wow, look at that. It's a beautiful, lovely plant pot. I think that's Thistle Design. Yeah, that is a stunner. Oh, there's some more stuff in here. This was the other item. This is quite a rarity, this one. It's copper. Tin lined. Coronet. Initials. LB, yeah, and V on the back. I've been after one of these for ages. I've seen them in books. When I got the opportunity to buy it, I jumped at it. A little bit more research got to be done into that. Don't know who's any more fun, me or them? <laughs> yeah. I guess. Oh. Fish kettle. Lovely condition inside. But it's never been used. Still got the label in the base. Perfect. And the outside does need a good clean up. Don't mind doing that. Yeah, it's never been used. I'll get that cleaned up and that will be in my online shop welcome to seansworld.com okay put this to one side let's get in the cottage it's freezing cold outside but I'm layered up so I'm okay <sighs> mind you I've had one of those bugs that's been going about oh that wasn't nice I dare say most of you have experienced some sort of bug or something recently. Seems to be a lot more going about. So if I have to run off really quickly, you know where I've gone. <laughs> no, I'm over the worst of it now. Oh, okay, right. Let's go inside. So, progress so far. These front stones are now set in. The dry mix has started to go off, they're not going to move about too much. Now what I'm going to do in today's video is work on the back stones, knock up some more dry mix, get those settled in, and then we're going to work on the perimeter, you know, round here. And what I plan to do is have a measure up and go and get some nice big thick oak timbers to go around the outside and what that will do, it will hold it all together and as mentioned in the previous video, it'll allow me to run my nice little tiles, border tiles that I recently bought. Now these are the tiles that I bought the other day. And talking of which, for those of you that don't know, I've started up a new channel. It's called Sean's Universe, so the link will be in the description. If you'd like to follow me, I'd really appreciate it on the other channel. That's more um, concentrated on out and about stuff, brocantes, which is uh, antiques, and visiting places of interest. So 
Yeah, I've got those on my travels there, so head on over and subscribe, and I'll, uh, I'll see you there on that one. Anyway, I've got these, and what this does, it finishes off around the fireplace rather nice. So we're going for an effect like that. Obviously I've got to sort the levels out and have a measure up with the timber that I need. Yeah, this one isn't quite long enough, definitely thick enough, probably high enough. But yeah, once that's all set in it'll be spectacular. So I'm just going to have a quick measure up then we'll head on over to the timber yard and uh, yeah we'll see what he's got there and that way the rest of the day I can just march on with everything. Gotta watch that lunchtime shutdown here. Catches you out when you're renovating. Okay, so we're here at the wood yard. Let's go and see if he's got what I need. I'm sure he has. We've just hauled in two massive great timbers into the car. They're a little bit bigger than what I wanted, but he didn't have anything my size, so it doesn't matter. It's, a, it's quite a chunky fireplace anyway, so I think it can, you know, handle the dimensions. Anyway, these are the two that I've just got. Hmm. Now, he helped me lift them in, but how am I going to get them out on my own? I'll figure it out. And here they are. They're 10 wide, which is a little bit wider. Deeper. I think they're 200, but uh, yeah, they'll do the job without a doubt. Right, let's get these back to base. Okay, I'm back. Now I've got to work out how to get these out. Normally I'd ask Tom, my son, but he's ill in bed. Horrible bug thing going about. Yeah, okay. Right, I'm going to have a quick cup of tea and uh, work out what I'm going to do next for these timbers. I, I may just leave them in the car until, you know, maybe Tom's better tomorrow, but yeah, I'll figure it out, I normally do. Okay, back to work. Just had some lovely homemade soup to warm me up. Right, these timbers. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna lift them out. I can't be do with hanging about. When well, I need to get something done, I've got to get it done. So I want them out of my car and into the cottage I think so I might reverse my car up to the steps rig something up or just carry them I'll see how heavy they are so we've got to get them out of there and into there should be easy enough so I think I'll put them on here that way you know I've only got to go there they're not in the way on there so I'll clear all this up get them on there get our upright posts on there already yeah, sounds like a plan. So fortunately my car does have hydraulic suspension so I've jacked it up a little bit and that's pretty level with nearly the top of this step so it's going to make things easier. Wait a bit. Oh, okay. So far, so good. Yeah, that'd be easy enough. We've got some dowling. Some of these. They're not ideal. I do need to get myself some proper, what they call skids. Hopefully I won't end up with any at the end of this. <laughs> Pardon the pun. Right, once it gets moving. No effort whatsoever. Sometimes just, you know, think and plan things out. 
literally just move it like that. Very heavy. But once it's on wheels, it's much lighter. Just push it into place and then I've just got to lift it up the other end, which isn't a problem. I'm fine lifting, it's, it's bending over. That's when you get your injuries. I find the hardest thing with this is taking my gloves on and off to keep moving the camera about, but it's just an occupational hazard. Okay, right, I'm gonna lift that end onto there. One simple straight lift, and then just push it round. I'm gonna use these dowlings again, just to push it up out of the way till I get my second one on, then I can wheel it back. Just got a strop around the end. Simple as that. One down, one to go. Now that went in pretty easy actually, you know. Once you think about it, use the right methods, you'll be amazed what you can do. Now the next timber is gonna be slightly trickier because it's got nothing to run along. The other timber, I run across the top of there to get it out of the car. This one's on the seats. So what I'm gonna do is use that board and get that underneath. Hopefully I can slide it out. It will just slide along that timber there. And then once I'll get some dowels across here once again, we can slide it out. So, yeah, slowly, slowly. So just putting that roller under it just makes it, you know, look, a couple of fingers, I can move it. So, yeah. Well worth having these in your arsenal. I mean, you can get metal ones as well. Makes a big difference. So now with a simple leverage action, lift the timber up. I think even better if I can get that timber over onto here. Slide out even easier. Yeah, simple as that. Literally, look, one finger, push. <laughs> and that's how I move huge timbers on my own. <laughs> like this, not so much this. Okay, it's great. Okay, 20, eight inches, 10, which is four inches, 2.6 long. So how much did these cost? Well, for both of them, I got them for 50 euros. So I'm well happy with that. There'll be a little bit left over. I'll make something out of that. They're probably two to three years Old, they've been outside so they're sort of weathered, the same look as the posts. Just try and keep it in, you know, keeping with everything. So once they go in around the, the stones, what I may do on the face of those is put the same chamfer as I spoke about with the posts, just to tie it all in together. And then there is a local blacksmith in the next town, um, I haven't met him yet, but I went to one of his demonstrations on a medieval um, night and uh, he makes ironwork obviously and does it all by hand and you know traditional methods maybe I'll go and see him if I can't find any metalwork to go either side so I want to sort of like maybe a metalwork frame on the seats you've got the two posts and then underneath going back to the wall from the posts I want some ironwork with a, a wooden piece on top 
Well, that's what I'm thinking at the moment. Might do it in stone, but maybe if I can get some nice ornate ironwork, that would work. Excuse the pun. But they're in. <laughs> Pixie is a scaredy cat, but Jess is very inquisitive. <laughs> They've just knocked something over. Oh, there's the other one. He's a bit more camouflaged, just see his eyes. Aren't they just adorable? Ah, oh, little sods as well, mind you. I dare say I was when I was little. Why not, Mum? Dad. <laughs> So that's great, now I've got the timbers, I'm able to fit them around the outside, haunch it up, connect it all together, and then when I put the posts on, the, the pressure isn't gonna sort of force, force out on the edge stone. So yeah, they're great, they're there, they're ready to go. Um, I've got to do some more leveling on the stones here. All of the stones in front of the metal straight edge all been leveled and dry set. It's just the ones behind that have got to be sorted out next. Then I'll put the timbers all the way around. The one that's in front was the one that was slightly too short. The new timbers are much bigger and will look much better. So yeah, I'm going to get those back ones leveled in and then we can move on to the next stage. So the next job is to start leveling. Oh, I bet this is cold. Ooh. Yeah, crazy. So we've got to lift this stone up quite a bit. Yep. We lift this one up and then we work our way across. We come up quite a bit. Every time I move it, more of the dry material works its way beneath. So eventually they're all level, or thereabouts. Admittedly, I've got a bit of work to do on that back row. Now that pedal mixer has made such a difference to mixing up. It's quicker and uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot better on me back. I've got to keep bending over. For years I've done it like that, you just get into old habits but uh, sometimes you have to look forward to technology as well and aids to help you out, you know, so yeah, what a buy that was. Well pleased with that. Right, I've got my mix knocked up. Uh, let's go inside, get that one poured in and start to level it up. Yeah, take in shape. So we'll get the dry mix poured in. Before you know it, that bucket has almost disappeared. Oh, well, that's a good thing because you know there's a good amount underneath. Yeah, that bucket's disappeared already, so we're going to knock another one up. Don't forget to wear your mask when you're doing this with the line. Okay. Now, have you subscribed to my new channel, Shung's Universe? Well, if you haven't, 
please head on over there. Check it out, it's about my adventures when I go out, antique hunting, place of interest, food and drink culture, just kind of streamlines the whole operation. This channel will stay the same, renovation work and stuff that goes on here. The other channel, Sean's Universe, will be everything really sort of outside of this, this place. Okay, right, that is it for this video. I don't think you want to see too much repetition going on, so join me next time, and all, of, all this area will be ready, and we'll put down the new timbers. Thanks for watching. Let's get another mix going.